metal tractor because in the days when these light tractors were made legal, around about 1905, 1907, uh, the law was changed. Prior to that date, any steam locomotive, as these vehicles were called, on the roads had to have a two-man crew. But the authorities relented and allowed single-manned engines as long as their weight was up to five tons. And all the manufacturers tried to get into this, but the first prize, they were, got a gold medal. And ever since then, they were known as the gold medal tractor. And in fact, Burrells were one of the most prolific builders of these light haulage engines. Uh, very delightful to play the stroke in both directions. But of course, if you're stopped immediately halfway, it's very difficult to get it started. And you have to rock the engine slightly to uh, get it to throw it. And in 1950, it went to uh, Herbert Smith and Sons of Thorough Kinetics, who used it up until 1964. 1964 was about in that. Very few light haulage engines were used for general haulage after the mid-1930s and uh, traction engines apart from a brief arrival during the Second World War when they were impressed to help with the war efforts doing agricultural work they were effectively out of use by the end of the war so uh, there was quite a gap between some of these